everybody, Steven Hernandez here, back at it again with another video for you all. If you guys are new here, again, my name is Steve Hernandez. I post videos here once a week, mainly about hiking, but I'm also going to review some food because I personally love food and I love to kind of treat myself at the end of these hikes because they hike about like three hours sometimes, or if they're a little bit less, they're pretty intense. Uh, but this new video today is going to be different than the rest of the videos. Usually I'm posting my hiking videos, but I kind of wanted to change it up a little bit and post some essential things to do for beginner hikers. Because I know one of the things that I did when I first started, I didn't really know how to start or what to do, what to eat, what to wear. So I kind of want to break down all of it real quick in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy. So first and foremost, the first essential thing that I personally would say that you need is a hydration pack. And I'm going to show you actually my first hydration bag that I started using when I just started hiking. And it is this one. It is this camel pack, as you can see here. The one thing I will say is kind of very minimalistic. It only has like two pockets and it kind of like opens up here so you can kind of put things in here. Water bottle. And then there's like a water pack in here that holds about, I believe, 1.5 liters of water which is a good amount it's not too bad but i used this for i think it was at least a year um, before i eventually upgraded this was great it was like about 40 bucks on amazon so if you're just a beginner hiker don't want to spend a ton of money this one i think would be great because it lasted me a while i've had this for i think about four or five years and i used it consistently hiking for like a year year and a half once I kind of like upgraded, I got a bigger one and I'll show you this one now. And it is this big myth. This is my new hiking backpack that I take on all my hikes. Great, has a ton of pockets for water bottles, for things that you can wear, things you can store, snacks, things like that. The best thing about it, I think would be its hydration pack, which let me get it out real quick. It's about two and a half liters, ton of water. You can put ice in here, which I do as well put ice when it's gonna be a really hot day and it lasts me a long time. So this one, first and foremost, I'll say, please have a hydration pack. You can get, again, you can get the one, uh, the Camel Pack one on Amazon, about like 40 bucks, I got it. This one's a little bit more pricey. This one's about, I would say, yeah, like 60 to 80 bucks probably on the range. So that's number one on the list, I would say. The second thing I will say is please bring a water bottle. I think that's important because sometimes depending on how if you're a beginner hiker you might use a lot of water in the beginning because you're kind of uh, getting used to it your body's getting adjusted to towards hiking so you're going to need that personally i'm going to show you my water bottle that i'm using now it's this giant behemoth one you can buy one on costco on amazon wherever you prefer if you really want to kind of like invest in a good water bottle i would recommend buying a yeti I used to have one. I recently lost it, unfortunately, but I love that Yeti. That Yeti water bottle lasted me, I think it was like three, four years. And the great thing about Yeti is because I personally love cold water. And if you do love cold water as well, it keeps it cold. So I would leave, I would fill it up with ice, fill it with water, and then put it in my pocket for uh, my hydration pack or my backpack was, and I would take it. And sometimes what would happen was when I'm hiking is because kind of like you're warming up, you're kind of warming up the water bladder in your backpack so in the beginning you're not getting cold water maybe later on you will uh, just because you kind of have to go through the warm water first but if i didn't want to do that i had the yeti there and i can just quickly drink out of that and use it so i personally love cold water so that was a huge benefit towards me so if you are wanting to invest in a great water bottle that will last you a long time highly highly recommend yetis because it lasted me years and i'm planning on buying another one in the future the third thing I will say, but it definitely shouldn't be third on the list, probably maybe first, depending on how you view things. I put it third for now just because I think you just kind of fell in number three, um, is please eat a breakfast. I think this is one of the things that when I first started hiking, I didn't do. And it kind of led me to being hungry throughout the hike, which was kind of bad. It was I was like just trying to get back to my car so I can go find something to eat. It's please, please eat a breakfast. I'm going to leave... Uh, just a uh, recipe down below of my favorite breakfast to do and that is overnight oats. I love it. It's quick. It's easy. You can just buy a little mason jar at Target, Walmart, wherever your local stores are. And you can make overnight oats there and it will last you at least three to four hours during the hike. Maybe a little less, maybe like two hours probably because you're driving. Probably lasts you like 30, 40 minutes and then another two hour hikes. So yeah, probably like three hours total once you finish eating it. And it's great. 
one of my biggest worries when I first started hiking was actually, where's the restrooms? Like if I need to go to the bathroom in the middle of a hike, right? What do I do? Uh, so that was one of my fears of why I wouldn't eat such a big breakfast. <clears throat> but overnight oats kind of helps with that immediately because you get really good carbs. It's kind of like little little protein here and there, but it keeps you satiated throughout at least probably like at least half of the hike, which then leads into my next essential item that you need is a snack so you need a snack you need some trail mix some granola bars protein bars whatever you prefer personally i'm going to show you what i eat and it is this it is as you can see it is a protein cookie Lenny and larry's and it's double chocolate i love chocolate um, this is my favorite snack to take on all my hikes the only downside i'll say about this cookie is that this whole cookie is about 420 calories and that's a lot of calories for just one cookie so one thing that i've been doing recently is i've been eating kind of like a quarter or half of it and saving the rest for my uh the next hike because that's a ton of calories for just one cookie and i know in some of the hikes i'm burning probably like what 800 probably like maybe a thousand so that already that's like half my hike right there and i really didn't I was like man that i didn't realize that until i started reading the nutrition bags um but again please bring a snack because it's going to be crucial especially because you're going to get hungry in the middle of it and personally the reason why i like that was because it's really high in fiber um and it's pretty high protein so it keeps me satiated through the second half of my hikes i know there's been times where i've been uh i was doing a really long hike and i was getting pretty tired toward the middle of it i was like i need something kind of like a little pick me up and that helped me a lot to finish that hike so please bring some snacks that you know are a little bit high in fiber, high in protein to kind of keep you going a little bit more. So now I'm gonna go to my attire and I'm gonna show you that right now and on what I wear on all my hikes. So first thing on my essentials, it's gonna be sunscreen. I wear this mainly on my face just because the rest of my clothing kind of it covers up the rest of my body. So I don't need it too much, but definitely put some on my face when needed. Obviously, I need a face shield and hand sanitizer because we are still in a damn pandemic and we need everything we can in order to try to prevent to get this. Sunglasses, obviously essential if you have very sensitive eyes. I sometimes will use them depending on how bright it is the day I'm hiking. Hat, you definitely need a hat because it's always going to get really, really hot some days. So this just helps because... Sometimes the sunscreen is not enough because you're out there for hours on end and you'll sweat it out. Next thing will be my shirt. I personally love to wear long sleeves and I know that kind of sounds weird, but there's a rhyme to reason. So the reason I wear these shirts, mainly they are free dry or dry fit because they absorb the sweat a lot better. And personally, I rather sweat than burn. So I like to cover up the, as much as my body as possible and feel sweaty and I'm completely okay with that. Next will be pants. And again, kind of wearing well, well, kind of the same rationale as the long sleeve. I like to cover up all my body. So obviously it's going to be kind of warm at first and you'll adjust to it. Personally, I feel I feel like this is great because I haven't been sunburned whenever I hike and sometimes I go really, really long on hikes. And if needed, I don't have it here right now, you can wear, depending on if you're waking up super, super early, you can wear a thermo for those cold, cold days. I know winter is coming soon here in California, so I might need that soon. But for now, this is what I'll use. So that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got some useful tips. Eat breakfast. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to quickly summarize everything. Have a water pack. Have a water bottle eat a breakfast, bring a snack. Um, for clothing, I personally love to wear long sleeves, sweats. Uh, obviously you need a mask and Purell because I'm still in the damn pandemic, which sucks. Sunscreen, sunglasses, and a hat. That's really all you need. And also a pair of socks, clean pair of socks, and or uh, shoes or sandals, depending on what you prefer. But once you have all those, I think you're completely ready for a hike. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys tried my overnight oats recipe because personally I think it's delicious. I love kind of like the little sweetness and little um, peanut butter that I put in there. I'm not a mushy person and I, I don't really like um, oatmeal. 
So overnight oats, when I first tried it, I was like, I'm a little skeptical of this because I'm not a huge oats person or at least oatmeal person. And overnight oats kind of completely changed that for me. So let me know in the comments if you try it, try it and let me know if any of this helped. I appreciate you watching this far and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care and have a great rest of your week.